I was uh, one of the founders of the Headland Preservation Group. I came to be involved just as an ordinary resident of Mossman, um, got home uh, from work one day and found this plan by the Defense Department to sell off a lot of George's Heights. And so I just picked up the phone and, and rang some people I knew in Mossman and it all went from there. I wasn't the first to object to this. It had been going on for two years. But, um, but once the Defense Department actually released plans that showed a lot of land being sold, then um, it became very clear, and I think that everyone could see that um, this was priceless land and shouldn't be sold. But when we came together under one coalition called Defenders of Sydney Harbor um, that was set up by Phil Jenkin and included all the communities around the harbor that were affected by this and, and plus the National Trust, then that became a very, very powerful coalition. We also um, engaged with politicians, former politicians, people like Neville Rand, um, anyone we could think of. It was a very um, broad reach and uh, massive campaign. We always thought that these defense lands were of such high national significance that they deserved to be looked after by the federal government, um, not necessarily the state government. We didn't think that the state had the resources to do the uh, remediation, and we were delighted to set up um, a statutory framework uh, so that all of the land would be preserved for the public in perpetuity, which is what we've now done. And we were able to get um, uh, over $100 million um, from the um, federal government in the beginning to put that into place. Subsequent to that, the federal government has um, injected many, many more tens of millions of dollars and more land into the Harbor Trust. So it's become quite a significant federal agency, uh, which is um, certainly these sites deserve all of this protection.